The reason why we maybe block the things that we truly, truly want in our lives because we can't justify it through a need. But that's not how we should be going about living life. A quantum woman, a woman who is in her wealth frequency is not buying from need. Need is something that's just, okay, check. We need bread. We need milk. So we get them. And here's the thing. When you're only exchanging money on a need basis, you're doing it from a very human, 3D linear experience. But when you exchange money through the desired state, through, oh my gosh, I just kind of like the, when I the thought about having these Jews or the feeling that I'm going to get, oh my gosh, it starts eliciting something in you where you're like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. You feel joy, you feel happiness, you start expanding, you start feeling your feminine energy is turning on because you're feeling your emotions. You start feeling all kinds of things. Welcome to another episode of The Quantum Woman. I'm your host, Shamina Taylor. And today's episode, we're going to talk about need. Do I really need it? Need, how need has been the measurement of us having the things that we want our entire lives. I remember being at an intensive three-day event that I hold in Vegas and a client was there. I asked her what she truly wanted and you know, things that she was describing. And one of the things were a pair of Jimmy, shoe, Jimmy Choo shoes. I think they were like $1,200. And I said, would, would you buy them? And she said, well, only if I needed them. I said, that's the only measurement that you have is if you need them. I said, well, when would you ever need a pair of $1,200 Jimmy shoe, two shoes. She sat there and she's like, well, I guess I will never need them. And I go, I guess that's why you don't have them. I said, do you really want them? She goes, I absolutely love them. Every time I see them, I just dream about them. I love them. They're so gorgeous, but I don't feel like I have a need for them. Maybe if I had a photo shoot, I could put them in there, but then when would I wear them any other time? Cause they're so expensive. This has been our measurement for everything. If I need, if I need really the things that we desire in our lives, aren't things that we actually need. Need is like a survival thing. You need food, you need, you need water, you need shelter, you need heat, you know, those kinds of things. Those are needs, right? We need money to do those things. But now the reason why we maybe block the things that we truly, truly want in our lives, because we can't justify it through a need, but that's not how we should be going about living life. A quantum woman, a woman who is in her wealth, what her in her wealth frequency is not buying from need need is something that's just okay check we need bread we need milk so we get them wanting and desiring a louis vuitton or a g-wagon or cartier or whatever it is you know five-star vacation going for massages all of those things they don't need to be justified through a need all you need to have is desire and obviously the money to buy it right having the desire is so important and here's the thing when you're only exchanging money on a need basis you're doing it from very human very 3d linear um experience but when you exchange money through the desired state through oh my gosh i just kind of like the, when i the thought about having these jews or the feeling that i'm gonna get oh my gosh it starts eliciting something in you where you're like oh my gosh this is so exciting you feel joy you feel happiness you start expanding you start feeling your feminine energy is turning on because you're feeling your emotions you start feeling all kinds of things i mean does bread give that to you when you need bread or you need milk no right because you're not maybe sometimes you're looking forward to a meal it might excite you like a, a fancy meal or a meal that you were um, like chocolate cake, you know, we, none of us need chocolate cake, but boy, does chocolate cake give us that feeling when we eat it. And then we feel guilty about it afterwards, but that's a whole nother story. But if you really realize like how much you want to desire chocolate cake, cause it would make you feel that way. That's why when people eat it, they're like this thing's better than sex. Hello. You know, sometimes you hear people moaning and groaning about eating their chocolate cake. Okay. Maybe that was just me, but you know, it's like an experience, right? That makes you feel something and buying bread doesn't make you feel anything except full probably and I don't eat bread I don't I keep saying milk and bread but buying food it just fills you up and it nurtures your body but it's not fulfilling this nurturing like soulful connection deep inside of you so need has been the measurement and I'll tell you when I can have a woman break that pattern of just purchasing and you know investing in things from a need state guess what things change I remember when I was um, I hit a million dollars the first time I was going to Cartier and I was gonna go buy these beautiful bracelets and I was only going there to buy one and when I was in there this feeling came up and I was like do I really do I really need these I mean I had made many investments before for 50,000 30,000 75,000 lots of lots of investments into my you know mentors and my 
you know, in, in systems and whatnot with my business. But when it came to buying something for myself, it was like, do I need it? And I, it had this distinctive moment and I'm like, this is what I teach. You know, this is like four years ago. I'm like, this is what I teach. And I'm like sitting here going, oh, oh my goodness, like what is happening right now? And the thing of the matter is, is that I didn't need them. I didn't need Kerche bracelets on my, I didn't need, I didn't need three, I didn't need one, I need none, but I desired them. I had put them in my vision so long ago that I wanted those bracelets because they were like, they were active as, as if they were mine already. And because I had this desire for these bracelets, it fueled me to always get into the expectation of more wealth and money was coming so I can go have those bracelets, right? And so if I ignored this, this, this desire to get the bracelets, I would be literally blocking the flow of wealth. So this is why I really encourage women to satisfy those desires because it'll go so much further than just fulfilling a need, right? I went and I did the work that I do to work you know, my magic to get myself to a state of being of like, of course, of course, it's okay to satisfy this desire. Of course, it's okay. I had the money. You have to have the money. And I purchased them and it was the best feeling I have felt in a very long time in that moment because I, me, myself and I, you know, like I had this dream of creating this business after my divorce. I went out there, answered a calling and then I let my visions and my desires lead. I did the work to get into my feminine energy so that I could tap in deeply into my intuitiveness, into my desires, into the trusting, into the faith, into the allowing, into the receiving and bam, here I was in this moment. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget when I was sitting there and when I purchased this, it was in such a high desired state that when I left, cause she put all empty boxes in a bag, there was a lot of them. And I walked out, my son helped me carry the bag cause they gave us a bottle of champagne too. And I was in this feeling of, oh my gosh, I just did that. And every time I look at these Cartier bracelets, every time I remind myself of how it feels so wealthy. I feel wealthy. You know, I remind myself, I did that and I, I feel wealthy. I feel wealthy. And when you can feel wealthy, you become wealthy. You are wealthy. The wealth will just find you. And that's just really how it works, right? So for me, so satisfying that desire was big. You know, I heard from people when I went to go get my G-Wagon, you're crazy. Who needs a G-Wagon? Nobody needs a G-Wagon. Nobody needs one. Okay. But I desired it. And then bam, I got it. And then bam, it makes me feel wealthy every time I dry it drive it. So need should not be our measurement anymore of how we exchange money ever, ever. Because when you're doing that, guess what you're doing? You're placing those limits. If you haven't listened to that podcast, I would go check it out. But those limits like stop the flow of more wealth. It stops you from making more money because you start putting an internal, like, you know how there's like a, a, a lock system in certain things, like an internal lock. That's what you're doing with your money by placing more limits in there, creating more resistance for it coming out. You know, I heard somebody or I watched, I read something online. They're like, you don't have any money blocks. Okay. Maybe but you do have resistance to receiving more money. You do, you know, you can have more resistance and you can have limits on how much, you know, impo self-imposed limits that are in there, stopping you from making more, having more and, and using more money because of the beliefs that you have from the emotional state that you're in, all those life experience, lived experiences. So call it blocks, call it what you want. There's something there that's an impediment to you receiving more. So we got to open that up, right? And so stop trying to justify a purchase, whether or not you need it. All it's going to do is going to keep you in scarcity because at the end of the day, majority of the luxury things or the, the things that don't make sense aren't things that we need, but we just love. And when we feed the desire and the things that we love, the universe turns around and says, all oh, right, look at her. She's happy. Give her more. And that's really the measurement. And I'm, this is, of course, if you have money, I'm not telling you to go put all this stuff on credit card and whatnot. I go deep into this and I'll tell you, women who come in my world, they don't know what they desire sometimes, believe it or not. They know what their goals are. They know what they want to achieve. But when I ask them to go sit in their soul, they don't because they're still in that wounded masculine state that they can't tap into their emotions because their emotions are fueled, you know, your desires are fueled by your emotions. And so if you can't get into that. But I tell you, by the time they're done with me, their desires are skyrocketing. Their list of what they desired or wanted, quote unquote, before turns into this massive, you know, um, expanded, created reality. And they're like, well, I'm going to go for it all because I can. And I'm like, that is exactly what I want you to do. 
no limits, baby. Like just open it up, let it all come in. Because if you're going to live this life, might as well live it how you want to live it. Enjoy it how you want to enjoy it. Have the things that you want to have. Do what you want to do. You know, be who you want to be. Have all the things. Just don't put any barriers on what I can have in my life, basically. Don't tell me I can't because I'm going to show you I will, you know, kind of energy. And I know that's you too. So need is no longer the measurement. Okay. When you start sitting there deciding, do I need that? Do I need that? It comes down to we're emotional buyers. Do you desire it? Do you desire it? Is it something that you're looking for? Is it going to answer something for you? Is it going to give you something? Is it going to be your Cartier bracelet? It's going to be the thing that lights you up every day. Is it going to bring you joy in your life? Don't underestimate the power of that because it is going to be more powerful, that frequency and energy than maybe even even implementing a strategically logical 3D need thing, okay? So, but you get them both together, woohoo, magic. All right, if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a girlfriend or a mom or somebody or a sister who know who you think would who you think would enjoy it. And maybe you post it on your socials and tag us. Um, come join our Quantum Woman group. It is an amazing group. And if you have not got your um, copy of Unlocking the Quantum Woman, you need to go get that immediately. And our Audible version is coming out soon. Can't wait for that. Leave us a review. I will love you forever. Okay, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.